YouTuber shows penis and I, oh, I didn't even notice you. Well, welcome to this video. Today I brought a piece of newspaper and most of you will know what that means. It's time for everyone's favorite show on this channel. It's time for some building time. And what we are going to build today and why we are going to need this massive piece of velvet. That's what I'm going to explain to you right now. Welcome at the desk. First and foremost, the things we will need for this project. So first, you will need a regular playing card. You will need some scissors. You will need some um, glue, spray glue or spray adhesive in my case. You can also use a glue stick if you want, but it won't hold as good. But you can use glue stick or some super glue. And then you will need the some velvet or some cloth should be black black is the best color in my opinion for this and i think many magicians will agree because today we are doing some black art magic and yeah what that has to do with this close-up pad and with these cards well let's talk about it so at first you want to build a close-up pad like this i just use an old mouse pad and took some of my of my velvet and simply line it up with this and just glue it on there. It's pretty simple. I think you don't need any instructions for that. As you can see, I'm not a builder, so it's not perfect, but it works. It works. Uh, yeah, that's what you need to build first. And then you will grab your newspaper. And yes, the close-up pad should have the same color as your finished card. Oh, what you will also might need is a black marker, but I will talk about that later. So then you're going to grab your playing card and once again your cloth. Try to find a corner piece right here, like this or maybe, yeah. Let's take this corner piece, line it up on your desk, on your newspaper, all right, then place the card like this onto here so this is just for the tricks that you saw in my intro you can do more with this you can do it in different ways you can uh, glue the front on it like you know however you like and then what I like to do is add some spray adhesive to the to the cloth place my card on it stick it and it's really cold and it smells like shit. But yeah, just don't let your parents know and you will be fine. And once you did this and this sticks to it, I think that's all right, right now already. Close it up. Then what you're gonna do is cut it out like this. All right, you wanna let it dry first before you, um, before you keep working with this because otherwise it will just stick everywhere but I think you can see where this is going right now so yeah let it dry for a bit and then once it dried um, just cut it out cut out the the edges like this cut it all around so you have it nice and clean in the end it should look something like this in the end all right what i've done i've cut around all of these don't cut too far because otherwise you will see some white spots like this i mean it's not that bad because what you can do is take um, a black marker and marker out these spots that the velvet or the cloth didn't go to also what you want to do is mark the corners or the edges of your card Make sure to not paint into the face of the card. But yeah, that's also something you want to do. And then for the performance part, it's pretty simple. Um, all you need to do is use your head, use some imagination. And with the correct lightning and angle, you will be able to do tricks like I did. And use your close-up pad and the card should blend in pretty nicely. And that's some black art magic right there. And this is how to build these. Yeah. 
that's basically the full tutorial if you enjoyed this please leave a like if you hated it then dislike and i will see you guys in the next one bye